Good afternoon friends, I hope we're doing good. So I thought I'd come to you again with another video today of our newest service accommodation unit in Newport South Wales. So this is a, another management unit. We are managing it for a chap called Jasper. Um, on, and also this was sourced by Hannah and Gwyn, both linked in the sort of this video from Bespoke Sourcing. So if you're interested in awesome service accommodation deals in well Wales or even beyond, to be honest, get in touch with those guys, they are awesome. But I thought I'd show you around this really nice property. So the builders have literally just left, so there is a bit of work ongoing. But um, we'll give you a bit of an idea of where we're at. So, this is a nice um, Victorian sort of era property. Massive bay and all that good stuff. So yeah, you have to excuse, there's still some tools and stuff left in here. We've literally just got the keys. So, a few rough edges, but it's all brand new refurb, which is cool. So, this is a, technically it's a three bedroom property. Um, but actually it's got two huge, massive reception rooms. I figured my black suitcase in the window. So... This is the front um, reception room. This all, I mean, it's, it's, a ca it's an absolute cavern. I hope that's coming across in the video. So this will be using as the kind of living slash dining area. One issue in here, there is a little bit of damp in the corner, um, which we're going to get resolved. So I mean, that's kind of when you're looking at these properties, which are like 200 years old plus, they're never going to be perfect, which is fair enough. Um, and that's, how, that's what we get paid for to sort of resolve problems. So yeah, that's the sort of front room, which is pretty cool. Thanks for, very much for joining guys. I can see there's quite a few people jumping on, which is awesome. This is the second reception room. Now this is nearly as big again. Clearly for service accommodation, given that this place is going to be ideal for contractors, we'll just turn this into a nice double bedroom. Um, so I, we could put a double bed in here and a single bed, so we might even put two beds, or we might put a twin. I'll sort of leave that down to our design department to figure out how they want to play this property. But yeah, it's quite nice, neutral sort of throughout, white white painting everywhere, which is um, always our preference, and brand new carpets as well. And they've actually gone for this um, vinyl on the floor here. It's kind of foamy in texture, but it actually looks quite high end. It's um, I think it's quite I think it's actually quite cool to be honest. It looks good. Um, it's not that expensive either. Then we push through into the kitchen area. So in here we've got yeah, it's quite a nice new fit of kitchen. Still absolutely reeks of paint, which is cool. And yeah, again we've got this um, this is actually fake um laminate flooring, but it's kind of like a foamy vinyl. But again, it looks quite nice, and it actually feels pretty good underfoot as well. Nice units in the property. Um, going to have to obviously have a bit of a tidy up still. Builders due to come round again on Thursday just to finish off some last snags. Um, but we are kind of getting there, which is cool. Uh, back garden, I think, I presume this is closed. Yeah, it's got a very low maintenance back garden anyway, so not really a huge amount to shout about there. Um, down here is a basement. It's actually quite big. It's probably not really going to be something we can use with the property though. It's just, um, you put, as you can probably tell from those stairs, um, yeah, it's not an ideal space. We'll probably maybe use that for storage. The reality is we're probably just going to end up blocking that off because it's kind of, um, unfortunately, a, a space with a lot of potential, but not really anything we can directly use. So I'll go up to the upper up level now. Any questions or comments, as always, guys, please shout them out. Um, someone's left a toilet seat up, the horror. Uh, but yeah, this is a bathroom. So there's only one bathroom in this property, which does limit the amount of people that we'd be prepared to market to. But... Re Realistically, groups of sort of four to six contractors, this place is going to be lovely. And it's done quite a nice job on the bathroom here. So we've got the very on-trend white tiles with the grey grout, looks quite nice. Sort of some chrome fittings. Yes, yeah, property's not going to require much work really. Once the sort of builder is finished off, there's a few little snags, but it's not really, obviously they're doing all the painting and stuff anyway. So we're, once we have a deep clean, going to be able to fit um, the furniture and be good to go. This door here, Leads all the no, right, this door here leads to a storage cupboard. That's particularly boring. Um, this door here leads to an upstairs space, which is actually awesome, but the stairway is really tight. So again, unfortunately, with this property, it's got a really big basement and upper floor, but we're not pr probably not going to be able to use them. This property, uh, sorry, room here is a. It's, probably, it's the smallest bedroom actually, and it's still easily a double. So we'll put a double bed in here for one person, or maybe even two, to go in. And then we've just got two huge other bedrooms, which hopefully the way my voice is suddenly echoing, will sort of show you how much space we've got to play with. So again, you could put um, a double bed and a single bed in here all day long. We'll probably go with a twin in here maybe. And then in, in this nice big room, we'll go with a double. So yeah, absolutely huge house. This is actually, um, genuinely, I've, now I've seen it in the flesh. I think it's a bit of a, cool, a really good one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. This is, um. Yeah, one of the newest ones it's sort of under our management portfolio so looking forward to getting this going um shouldn't be any major hurdles really into we're going to get get some sort of utilities and stuff ordered obviously we've already um started purchasing furniture so ideally we'll have this place ready and available for guests within a fortnight um 
we're actually getting some really good contractor bookings at the moment, some long-term ones. So all being well, the plan is to actually have contractors lined up to go in, um, into this as soon as we've got professional photos done. But yeah, basically we're going to be handing the keys over to our design team now, who are going to be um, furnishing the property, getting it all ready. And then we'll hand it over to operations who will get us some guests. So I hope that's been enjoyable, guys. Um, as ever, if you've got any questions about this or rent to service accommodation or property in general, feel free to get in touch with me. Send me a message, drop a comment below. Um, and I hope you're all having a great day. I'm obviously off now to go to put some other properties. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.